Okay, okay, let's start from the very beginning. Choose your fighter. Xenia. Hey guys, it's me. And you won't believe where we're at. We are at Basuliada. <laughs> so it's basically Olympiad about hustle. <laughs> Pasuleada or pasuleid, in the manner of Olympiad, is a festival of traditional Serbian dish pasul, and the main ingredient is beans. Okay, so this is Pero. Uh, he is a colleague of my husband. The factory and the uh, team is called Heineken United. Kind of weird, but it sounds well, pretty it interesting. Was, it was last minute. Last minute, really? Last minute decision because uh, there were so many uh, ideas that we cannot speak on the on the. What is pasul itself? Well, depending on the team, it can vary from, it can a lot vary. So we usually put uh, bacon, we put sausage, yes. usually some spicy sausage okay. to, to add to the flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of onions to add to the thickness of mm -hmm. the water, pork meat. Then we add uh, spicy peppers. If you're not tolerating spicy, our beans is not for everybody. <laughs> For you to understand the scope of the event, Pasuliada has been held since 2005 in a small Serbian town, Temirin. And more than 160 teams are participating this year. And yes, it's a competition. Each team has a main cook and his assistant, and they're responsible for cooking pasul. And after that, they're presented to honorable jury who will rate each dish for taste, appearance, thickness and boldness, which I suppose means the softness of the beans. 2015 was, as we could say, my debut on the scene. And unfortunately, the pasul that we cooked was Chinese, basically. But once I got with my company, it's become like a something of a regular, a regular thing. Yeah. Last year we won like first place. And sometime before Corona happened, we won seventh place. Yeah, it was quite happy, honestly. This is the team of my husband's factory where he works at. And they will gonna cook basul uh, and represent it to, to, to judges in the end. Of course, all this festival is not only about pasul, but about making friends, having fun, drinking a lot and grilling meat. There also was a big stage having some bands on it and the party lasted till night, but I was already dead by that time. Along with the main pasul competition, there were many others, like tug of war, and our guys started pretty successfully, but lost anyways. And a car battery throw, and that was quite impressive, to be honest. Also, I want to mention these guys who were entertaining everyone with their music the whole day. These guys earn a lot. I mean, a lot. People kept shoving money inside of the instruments non-stop. I bet that's why some Serbs often say, I wish I were a musician. We were pretty excited to find a small local craft beer stand. Some of you know that in Russia, Vlad and I were big fans of craft beer and Vlad even worked at the brewery in Vietnam. So we definitely wanted to check their beer out. Unfortunately, in Serbia you can't find any decent sours or gozers. But I got dropped cherry beer and it was pretty good. A little bit too sweet to my taste, but very refreshing. And this APA was bomb. Vlad approved it. Got them. That's good. While pasta was cooking, we all ate just magnificent and delicious meat with fresh salad. around the festival, met people, and just enjoy this sunny day. And 
this line is for free puzzle. So they give away free puzzle. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, puzzle was cooked. Judges were enjoying the food and giving their opinions. Our team made their own take on it and I had to try it. I can't say I was impressed. It was good, like homemade taste food, which I'm not a big fan of, but still it was it was pretty tasty. So I thought it's hell a lot of teams here that cook pasta in their own way. I just can't miss it. And big shout out to Pero, my guide to the world of pasta. We just approached random tables and asked if it's okay to try. And everyone was so friendly and I felt so nervous when their pasta wasn't really great to my taste. But I tried some unbelievably good ones. And oh my god, now I can say that I love pasta and it's one of my favorite dishes in Serbia. What my drunk face can say to you in fine? I suppose it couldn't say anything decently. So I'll tell you now that it was one of the best food festivals in my life. Believe me, I have something to compare with. Amazing food, people, weird music, lots of fun, unity and heartwarming memories that I will never forget. Thank you Temerin, thank you Serbia. And thanks to me that I survived. <laughs>